Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial on my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you this really fun textured sweater plaid nail. Uh, the plaid prints and the sweater prints are always so popular in the fall and winter and so I thought I would show you this kind of fun twist on it and how to make it this kind of textured look. So today I'm going to be using some products from Zillabue.com, which is a fairly new nail supply company, which was started in 2020. And it has lots of innovative gels and nail art products from Asia. And Zillabue was started in a dark time in 2020, and it was meant to help bring light to the nail industry. So I'm going to be starting to share more products from Zillabue with you guys, which I'm so excited about because these are products that are totally different than what we're used to seeing here and I'm just excited to kind of bring some different nail art products and more innovative fun lots of different styles of nail art to show you guys so the brand I'm using today is called Fiote and it's from Korea it's a Korean nail brand so they say that you can use their colors for a full color nail all, all the way to line art so you have a lot of flexibility with what you can do with their gel colors. So the collection today I'm going to be sharing with you is called the 2021 Look at My Tweety collection and it comes with six autumn colors as well as two limited edition textured gels plus a brush. So I'm super excited about these textured gels. They're so cool and I cannot wait to show you them. First of all, this packaging is absolutely stunning. It's so cool. It has this like texture to it. So it goes perfectly with the collection and like the theme. So it comes with this really cool box. And then another thing that I've been seeing with these companies from Asia is they supply these little charts that you can stick some of your swatches on and then you can display it on your desk for your clients and they totally fit the theme like it has this really cool texture to it and it has all of the labels written on there or you could turn it on the other side and create some art looks and stick them on there and then you can display it for your clients which is really really cool I've never really seen any company from America over here do anything like that uh, I know some of them come with like swatches but never like an actual display that you can use to display your swatches it comes with one nail brush which which is the number D1 and it's kind of like an angled brush and then on the inside we got our gold cap and six gel colors with the two textured gels the colors in this collection are very like kind of muted dusty very autumn fall colors and then we have the two textured gels as well I also love how the bottles have the color all the way around the bottle and the cap and everything and then that way whether you're displaying the bottles on a shelf or in a drawer like put away you'll easily be able to see what color you're looking for and easily know what to grab because literally the entire bottle is the color and I feel like it matches the actual gel polish color pretty well I know sometimes the colors on the bottles don't really actually look like the color that's on the inside but I feel like they did a pretty good job with these making them look pretty identical to the colors on the inside of the bottle now for the first textured gel this is a gel that has all of these little fibers in it which kind of gives the effect of like a fuzzy sweater and they look so cool and it's kind of in this like milky creamy base like a sheer base with these little fibers in it. And the second one is a white, super thick. The only way I can describe it, somebody described it as stucco and that's the way that I feel like it looks. It's like this thick white gel that you can use to create texture and create these plaid or tweed designs. And it looks so cool. I think what actually gives it the thick texture is some glitter because I've noticed after wearing it in certain lighting that it kind of sparkles like it has a little bit of glitter in it. So I'm going to start by painting two coats of, I'm using five out of the six colors and so I'm going to do a different color on each nail and I'm going to do two coats of those and make sure I cure 60 seconds for each coat. 
and my first impressions right off the bat is the pigment in these is amazing like I don't know if you've ever used a light pink where I feel like light pinks honestly are very hard to get good coverage with and you can see from this like just the one coat of this pink has amazing coverage i was super impressed with it i really also like the consistency overall definitely impressed with this brand fiote Now that I've got five different colors, one on each nail, I'm going to do one coat of that fuzzy textured gel. And you'll notice that that creamy base that it's in doesn't really change the color all that much of the gel polish color. So you just mostly get those little fibers to create that kind of fuzzy sweater look. And I also noticed they didn't stick up at all. They totally flattened out with the gel. So I'll do one coat of that over all the nails again and make sure and cure that for 60 seconds. And here's the end result of that fuzzy looking gel and I decided to make them matte so I did a matte top coat over all of them and this is what they look like now for the art I am going to start with the white like stucco like texture gel and I'm going to paint start by painting my plaid design I'm using the brush that came in the collection and I am just painting like two lines one horizontal one vertical down the nail and I'm gonna cure each line before I move on to the next so I'm gonna do this one vertical line cure it and then I'm going to do the next like horizontal one over the top of it and this is gonna create that really cool textured plaid sweater look I think this is so unique and so cool I I feel like I have so many ideas of what you could do with this now that I've kind of gotten to play with it but I'm really happy and I think it looks really cool for this plaid look it did take me like a little bit just to get used to it and just to kind of get the hang of the texture of it and the consistency but once I kind of got the hang of it it was pretty easy to just paint on there and get the look that I was going for
Once that's all cured, now I'm using a striping brush and I'm going to dip into some of the colors opposite of the color that I used for the entire nail. And I'm going to start by painting some lines to add to that plaid design. And if you don't want your lines to run together, then I would make sure and cure each line before moving on to the next. I definitely agree that this gel polish, it works really well for creating these fine lines as well as the full coverage kind of nail. So that's really cool. They're really versatile that you can use them for all sorts of art as well as just your normal gel polish, you know, full coverage color. Now I'm doing the same thing again, but adding a second color to the stripes. Also, it's okay when you're going over top of that white textured gel if it looks kind of not like the most perfect line because I think it adds to that textured look. So once I finished these lines, I just made sure everything was cured and then I wiped it with the alcohol and these lines actually stayed really shiny. So you don't have to worry about trying to go over and top coat all these lines. So it created this really amazing textured plaid look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you some new products and I'm excited to bring you more products from Zillabu in the coming months. So make sure to stay tuned for that. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and you want more content like this. And don't forget to follow me on social media and I'll see you guys in the next video.